Well, if you look at the figures, they will be analysed now extremely thoroughly and almost 40% of uh, Liberal Party MPs and senators voted for the motion. So essentially, many people will be looking at Tony Abbott's position and saying, well, he survived that moment in the party room, but uh, will he survive in the days, weeks and months to come, given that that level of discontent within his own party Party seems to be at quite a substantial level. Again, 61 MPs and senators uh, voting against the leadership challenge, but 39 people, almost 40% of the Liberal Party, uh, voting against Mr Abbott. So these are very, very tough times for Australia's Conservative Prime Minister, who's only been in the top job now for 16 months. Because, Phil, if we have a look at it, 39 MPs voted for someone other than Abbott. There was no challenger. It didn't get past the first stage. But yet, a sizeable number of his own colleagues want someone else. I think the reasons for this are various. Firstly, Mr Abbott has been trying to sell a very unpopular budget. There have been efforts to try to make university students pay more, make people here in Australia pay more to see their local GP. And also that recent decision by Mr Abbott to award Britain's Prince Philip a knighthood has, in the eyes of many Australians, uh, cast Mr Abbott as a politician who's wildly out of touch with uh, the public mood. Also, within politics, there has been a feeling that Mr Abbott hasn't listened to his colleagues. He did say that uh, this leadership crisis was a chastening experience. So uh, many factors weighing down on Tony Abbott, but he is a fighter. He's a former student boxer, and certainly he's needed all of those uh, uh, aggressive skills in a very ruthless political environment to survive. But uh, he has survived. But the question is, for how long? Phil, I think what you're touching on there is the frustration among many colleagues and among the electorate that a lot of the wounds of this government in only 16 months or so, as you said, are self-inflicted. Many politicians within the governing Conservative coalition don't believe that Tony Abbott has been listening sufficiently to their concerns. Uh, now, Mr Abbott uh, won a landslide election victory here in Australia in September 2013, and he promised that his government would be proactive and that it would listen. But it has been weighed down by at an at times hostile Senate, the Upper House of Parliament, that has stymied part of his reform agenda. But uh, there is a feeling uh, among the broader Australian community that uh, Mr Abbott uh, wasn't that popular really to start with, and that popularity has plummeted. And now, of course, speculation will intensify. How long will he survive? And if there is to be a challenge, who will make it? And the smart money here is on Malcolm Turnbull. He's a former merchant banker, a very wealthy man, a former leader of the Liberal Party. And many people would be expecting him to, uh, to be in the headlines, uh, challenging Mr Abbott, uh, perhaps in the weeks and months to come.